It's estimated that about 40,000 people die from pulmonary fibrosis each year in the United States. We have no idea why this disease happens. We don't know why the scar tissue develops. We've developed a new theory that we think is really exciting. It's a theory that sleep apnea that occurs at night in many people might be injuring the lung and triggering the scar tissue. So we've designed a clinical trial to treat sleep apnea to see if we can change the lung to prevent that injury and therefore prevent the scar tissue. At first it was somewhat benign of a response because we didn't know what it was. You know, IPF, oh, okay, well, you know, what's the medicine? What do you take? And then uh, you start looking it up and you start realizing there is no medicine, you know. So uh, it was rough. It was uh, a tough time for the family. Yeah, it was, uh, there wasn't much out there. When we first found out, um, uh, the first thing that we did was get online and we researched and we looked and there just wasn't enough out there and it was very, very frustrating for us because it didn't seem like there shouldn't be uh, a solution. I think that all research with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is extremely important. We, we have a disease that's affecting uh, thousands upon thousands of people each year and we have no treatments for it, we have no cures for it. And I think that the work Dr. Lutterer is doing is, is just as important as any of the other work being done because he's able to work with patients here that have this horrific disease and hopefully make a breakthrough. Well, we didn't exactly know what IPF was. Um, we sort of Googled it to learn what it was and it was frightening. The diagnosis, whatever you read about it online, is horrifying. Basically, the prognosis is, no matter what you read, ultimately death. And they give you a timeline, and it's quite short. Uh, generally, it seems to be around three years. And in fact, my father made it just over two years. He is obviously extremely well-versed in the illness. He has an ability to describe exactly, with great precision, the state of affairs. He um, read me perfectly uh, and accordingly dealt with me not as, oh, everything's going to be okay, or the opposite. I was very much, I'm very much committed to the idea of, let me know the true state of affairs and we'll manage. Once we get this project underway and get our first early data, we expect to apply for additional funding and then expand this project to not just our center, but a number of centers around the country. If we can do that, we might be able to show and even prove that this is a good treatment for pulmonary fibrosis. This treatment could potentially change outcomes for thousands and tens of thousands of people with pulmonary fibrosis today.